So adding Mike Wazowski was a big mistake. So it's been a while since my last video, and that's because I've been working hard on some projects like a good game developer would do. Um, I, I can explain. Okay, so the real reason why I would make this video is because I literally don't have much to make from the current project I'm working on. But luckily for me, I made a game for the Ludum Dare 49 game jam a month ago. Now I know what you're thinking. Lol, why would you make a video on something that happened a month ago? Because I f can, you b****. For those of you who don't know what a, what a game jam is, it's just a competition that lasts for a limited amount of time where you compete against other game developers so that you can have a bigger ego if your game is better. That's a lie. Don't listen to this idiot. So first off, we need some jam ideas. The team was called Unstable. I went on Discord to get some ideas from my friends and they really came up with some really, really good ideas. So what I initially thought was to make an island where you would fight off a wave of enemies that explode when you kill them off or something stupid like that. Really couldn't think of anything at the time and six hours has already gone by. So we gotta do things quickly. All right, so we start off by making a new Unity project and add a B add movement to the game. There's a frick ton of errors and I don't know why, so we had to fix them. Then I just added some post-processing to begin with and a PP manager because I have a very small d and just like that, we can move around and turn our head just like in real life. I then chucked a huge ass sphere so you can't get out of the island because the earth isn't flat. Duh. I added a sky and a texture on the ground. These textures were from ambientcg.com. They're completely free and you can use them on, on any project you want. And it seems like it's all coming together. But before we move on, I'm quite hungry. So I then went on Blender and started to model a hand. That was quite easy for me since I have modeled quite a few characters in the past. Links below if you ever want to buy or download some of my models, by the way. I also added a knife that I made previously. Also, the Chinese lettering means LMAO. I didn't even realize that it meant that before my friend told me. Anyway, I added the hands to the game, created some animations, and now we can move around. Um, uh. So after I had a seizure, I started to program a day and night cycle. So you know how in real life we have 24 hours in a day? Let's make that a minute and a half. The reason I want to do that is because I need the game to progress faster as I'm sure most people wouldn't spend more than 10 minutes playing this garbage game. So all I need to do now is to make a way for the day and night transition to happen. Luckily for us, we can just change the exposure of the sky. Except doing that makes the sun stay in one place. F Alright, so now we need some enemies. Because currently all we can do is just stare at the sun in all its glory without our eyes getting destroyed. But before that, I'm gonna go ahead to sleep because it's currently 3am and I'm human as well. Just a dumb one. So I woke up the next day at like 2pm and started off with googling some enemy ideas. I hopped on Blender and started modeling an enemy. So after carefully putting my creative juices to use, I present to you... Mike Wazowski. Scuffed edition. I then rigged him up and put him into Unity, and then what the f***? Alright, I patched him up, but his jaw is coming out of its body for some reason. Seems like it had a diarrhea after that, and now it's sticking its ass out. So do you remember how in my last video we made a robot that can move on its own with a bunch of procedural animation? Awesome. It works just like a charm now. Well, I want to do the same for this enemy. So after he showed me the dance of his people, he started jumping all of a sudden. Anyways, I have about 18 hours left, but I can't sleep since I don't think I'll be able to make it in time. So I actually removed the knife because it looks so goddamn boring to run around and just hit people with a knife. Or at least the way I made it, it didn't look exciting. I was pretty demotivated by then and just hung out with my friend to just give me some motivation. He really gave me some great motivation and shout out to him. So I hopped onto Blender and just reused the old shotgun I made in my previous game. Spoiler, since I haven't even showcased that weapon yet. Anyway, I got it into the game, made some animations for it, and now we can move around with a shotgun. The 
recoil is quite insane, but I'd like to see everyone get motion sick anyway, so... Now remember how I made Mike jump around when he's happy? Yeah, so I wanted to make that an attack, so where he throws his whole goddamn body towards me. But I don't remember anything from physics class, so to do that, we gotta pull out the stack overflow card for this one. But luckily for me, there's smart people like Sebastian that has videos on this. And by feeding in this formula, we can calculate a trajectory for Mike to aim at. Oh, he's so cute! So I made a bunch of VFX and sound effects to boost it up, and we got ourselves quite a finished game. I then made a way to spawn a bunch of these enemies each day where each wave just gets progressively harder. Now you're also probably telling me, So Underdog, how does this fit with the team? Yes, I hear you! So every night, you just get increased movement speed, increased fire rate, and you can one-shot the enemies. Is that not a good idea? No? Just me? Well, it's my game, so it's off. All we need now is music, and my buddy Paul always cooks it up for me. He makes great music, so go check out his SoundCloud and YouTube, links down below. After all that is ready, I made a main menu, a settings menu, an instructions tab with totally useful instructions, and a pause menu. And with that, the game is finished, and I have about an hour left to submit the game. Phew, that was... That was really hard. I haven't slept in like 40 hours, so I'm dying inside. I then made a bunch of artwork and GIFs ready to go on the page, and everyone can play it on Windows, Mac, Hackerman OS, or even the goddamn web browser. Anyways, I'll stop ranting for now. Here's some gameplay. Also, if you want to know more about my projects, you should totally follow me on my other social media. I post some pretty juicy content over there. And with that, see you guys next time.